Hello students, welcome to Engineers Academy. Do subscribe Engineers Academy if you are here for the first time. Now we are going to solve this problem which says that two cables are tied together at C and loaded as shown. Determine the tension in cable AC and in cable BC. So here we have this point C or joint C where these two cables are tied and it is loaded with a force of 1.98 kilonewton and we are given the height of uh, this particular pole the height of this particular pole and the height of point, uh, point C from the ground and similarly we are given these distances as well from the location of point C from the end of both of these poles now as we can see that at point C we will have the tension in this BC rope and we will have the tension in this AC rope and we have this weight so this point c is in equilibrium and it is acted upon by three forces and since this point c is in equilibrium so if this point c is in equilibrium the sum of these three forces by head to trade rule must be equals to zero so now first of all i will draw the free body diagram let's say this is the tension in bc rope this is the tension in bc i will write that this is tbc and here we have the tension in rope AC. This is the tension in rope AC. And here we have the load which is acting in the vertical direction and it has a magnitude of 1.98 kilonewton. Now let's say that the, the tension in rope BC is making some angle alpha with the horizontal and the tension in rope AC is making some angle beta with the horizontal. Now we can draw those horizontal line here as well. This is our horizontal line. This is our horizontal line and this is that angle alpha and this is that angle beta. Now we can find that uh, angle alpha and beta by using these two triangles. We have this triangle and we have this triangle. So now this height is 3.6 minus 2. So this is 1.6 let me write that this particular height is 1.6 meters and this distance the horizontal distance or the base of this triangle is 3 meters so this is 3 similarly uh, this length is uh, 4.8 so we can write that this is 4.8 and this height is 3.4 minus 4. Uh, 3.4 minus 2 so this is uh, 1.4 so we will write that this height is 1.4 and this is angle alpha this is angle beta this is angle alpha this is angle beta so now we can find angle alpha using this triangle by using 10 alpha so we can write that 10 alpha is equal to this 10 alpha will be equal to the perpendicular divided by the base. So the perpendicular is 1.6 divided by 3. So alpha is 1.6 divided by 3 or we can say that alpha is equal to 10 inverse 1.6 divided by 3. Similarly 10 beta. 10 beta will be equal to this distance the perpendicular divided by the base which is 1.4 divided by 4.8 or we can say that beta is equal to 10 inverse 1.4 divided by 4.8 so 10 inverse 1.6 divided by 3 this gives me alpha alpha is equal to angle alpha is 28.07 degrees and similarly beta is 10 inverse 1.4 divided by 4.8 so beta is equal to 16.26 degrees so now this is alpha and this is beta now we know this angle and we know this angle as well now as i have discussed that uh, this is that point c and point c is in equilibrium under the action of these three forces so the sum of these three forces must be equal to zero by head to tail rule so this means that they must make a closed triangle by the head to tail rule so this is my tbc vector tbc plus tac 
and then we have this is TAC and then this will be the load and this load must be vertical so by head to tail rule they must make a closed triangle since the resultant is zero so the resultant will start from the from the head of this load 1.98 kN to the tail of this TBC which is zero which has zero length so this is uh, 1.98 kN now we know that this TBC is making angle alpha here with the horizontal which is 28.07 and similarly we know that this TAC this TAC is making angle beta with the horizontal which is 16.26 so this is 16.26 similarly this line and this line both of these lines are horizontal so this means that this angle and this angle both of these angles are alternate angles they are equal so this is 28.07 similarly um, this vector is vertical so this angle is 90 so this angle is 90 minus this so 90 minus ninety minus 28.07 this gives me 61.93 all right and we can aid both of these angles we can we can aid both of these angles so that is um 16.26 plus 28.07 so this is alpha plus plus beta which is 44.33 so this angle is 44.33 degrees similarly we can find uh, this angle as well and if if i draw a horizontal line here so this angle and this angle both of these angles are equal this is 16.26 as well and this is 90 degree so this angle will be equal to 90 minus that 16.26 so 90 minus 16.26 this angle is 73.74 so this is 73.74 degrees so now we can find TAC and T TBC using the law of sines. So we can say that TAC divided by the sine of the opposite angle. So the opposite angle to TAC is this. So sine of 61.93. This will be equal to the load which is given 1.98 kN divided by the sine of the opposite angle. So the opposite angle to this vector is this which is 44.33 so the sine of 44.33 degrees similarly we can say that uh, tbc this tbc divided by the sine of this angle so tbc the sine of point. Uh, 7 4 equals to uh, again 1.98 divided by sine of the opposite angle which is 44.33 degrees now multiplying uh, this equation by both sides of this equation by sine of 61.93 we will get tac So 1.98 sine of 61.93 divided by sine of 44.33 this gives me 2.50 so TAC equals to 2.50 kilonewton similarly TBC multiplying both sides of equation by sine of 73.74 we will get 1.98 into sine of 73.74 degrees divided by sine of 44.33 degrees so we will have sine of 73.74 this gives me 2.72 tbc is equal to 2.72 kilonewton 
So the tension in rope uh, AC is 2.50 kN and the tension in rope BC is uh, 2.72 kN which was required. So this is the solution of this particular problem. I hope it will help you in your learning. Let me know in the comments if this helps in your learning. Do subscribe Engineers Academy for the solution of such more problems from Vector Mechanics by Baron Johnston.